a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. 120,000 persons of Japanese ancestry were transported to an assembly center where they lived for months, eventually being transferred to one of 10 relocation centers. The Amura family was taken from their home and went directly to Tule Lake on July 10, 1942. I didn't grow up ever hearing Japanese spoken. And I think that that has to do with the fact that you were in the camps. We are reminded that those who go before us, they are always a part of our lives. They continue to teach us, they continue to inspire us. All of us choose to come here so that we can heal and participate. And this land here needs to be remembered. Unbelievable, you know, yeah. to think that this could happen in America. It's pretty sad. Going through this is affecting, but it's like every single person was talking about like, this happened in my family and then this occurred and this is how, you know, it was like every person, it, it ruptured, yeah, it interrupted right. everybody's life Everywhere. and it created some sort of issue. I am here for my grandma. I've always had a under the surface disconnection from who I am, whether it is a white person, a Japanese American, a Japanese person. True healing occurs by embracing the truth of what has occurred here. This is truly the first time that I, I feel n not alone in who I am. And I think that it's just beautiful to be old enough to finally come and appreciate it. True healing occurs when we resist the attempts to repeat the injustices anywhere in the world. You're attaching what you would believe would be felt to what you can see ahead of you or something. And so I think it's a lot more powerful to be present. The important thing is forgiveness. And uh, you may not forget, but it's only after you have forgiveness that you can have healing. And I have to work at it every day in any kind of a relationship, knowing that uh, I have my own problems of bias or uh, prejudice or misunderstanding. And it's a day-to-day -day struggle. And until we can admit that and, and try to face it every day, we're not gonna have healing in this world. What I got the most out of it is that we're here together with grandma. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't mean anything the way it does to not have you here. But I think I will come back even after you're gone because I want to continue this and passing along the story. That's so <laughs> sweet. Thank Love you. you. Thank you. Generations have passed and we must never forget. Pilgrimages honored the Japanese Americans that were incarcerated, sharing their stories of the imprisonment with future generations so no group is targeted again.